Alright guys, Nick with Whitetail Bushcraft Outfitters again, getting out to one of my favorite stomping grounds for rabbit hunting, and while I'm at it, I'm going to do a little bit of shed hunting also, see if any of the antlers have fell. Sounds like the crows are going crazy back there, I don't know what's going on, but uh, stay tuned and let's see what we get into. I got the old pellet rifle with me today. Let's see if it can't kick me up a rabbit. The crows are going nuts. These are old uh, four wheeler trails. We got a pond back here. Old deer stand right here. Let's see them crows going nuts though. Stay tuned. Give you a view of the old pond. Kind of give you my 360. see what we're getting into. Another little pond back here guys. Great watering holes for the wildlife, especially deer. I'm sure I'll see some now that hunting season's over for deer. Still got a couple days, week or so left of rabbit hunting, so I'm hoping to get some rabbits. Been hungry for them. A lot of little ponds back here on the four-wheeler trail. We got one right there. We call these the swamp deers out here. And we got one right over here. Hoping to find some sheds. I've seen on YouTube people are already finding them, so. And I like to get out and look myself. Do a little walking. Practicing. Trying to walk quiet too for the next season. But actually rabbit hunting, you like to kind of kick them up. Right now is a good time to look for sheds. They'd stand out pretty good in this stuff. Anything over by this pond. About 35 degrees Fahrenheit out here. We had some freezing rain yesterday. It melted off some of the snow.
And it's just good to get out and get some dirt time in. I'm gonna save some batteries until we find something interesting. Nice rub here, guys. Real nice rub. Son of a bitch, guys. Found a nice rack. I just seen that rub and I figured it was fresh. Look over here, guys. Son of a gun. Boy, it's a nice one, too. Wow. Wow. Really nice, guys. Oh, I'm excited. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, man. Very cool. Oh, man. Let me set this down so you guys can kind of get the side of it. There's a gun, but look at that. That's crazy, crazy shape to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine just on that one, guys. That is a crazy shape. Check it out. Very cool, first one of the year, guys. All right, I gotta look around for the other one. Seen that fresh scrape? No, I'm not gonna worry too much about a rabbit. Very, very cool. Stay tuned, man. That is so cool. Kind of grid in the area, guys. Trying to find a mate to this uh, antler. Be neat to have the other side, but you know, a lot of it's just getting on a trail, and most of it's luck. I mean, I just seen that fresh scrape. Or I shouldn't say scrape, but rub on that tree. And uh, it's a, got me thinking, hey man, he might be trying to knock his horns off. Horns, I always call them horns, but they're antlers. But damn, that's a nice one. I just kind of grid in the area, see if I can find the other one. Who knows, it might be around here. Very cool, man. Just wanted to get out. Already found, hell, I haven't been in the woods 20 minutes. Already found a nice, non-typical uh, antler. Very cool, guys. I'm going to stay on this deer trail over here. See if I can't find the other one. I ain't too worried about making noise at this point. Now that I know the sheds are falling, i got to see what's the day. I think it's the 22nd, 23rd today, February. Twenty-third of February, so we know they're falling, guys. And the coyotes didn't get to this one yet, so I'm gonna keep looking, guys. If I find another one or spotted some more, I'll turn the camera back on. But damn cool! Nice little spot in here, kind of under these trees where the deer's got to duck down. Maybe knock off an antler. So I'm gonna kinda just follow their trails, but man, real excited about that horn set or antler setup. Really non-typical. Very cool, very cool. That's the best one I've ever found, guys. Of a non-typical. Like a moose. Some of last year's chicken of the woods, guys. Wish I'd have known that was here. I'd have picked that. Well, at least I'll know to look here come summertime. I'm going to keep looking for some sheds. If you guys can see this, but this is a really active deer trail right up through here. It's 
that's where you start looking. When you're looking for sheds, you know, just find out where they're going. You more than likely got a chance of finding some. But like I say, a lot of it's luck. Look for a fresh rub on a tree. And you might get lucky. Nothing else, it's fun in the woods. Follow this deer trail, see what we get into. Just gotta keep your eyes open for that light color up against all this these leaves, but this is a perfect time to spot them. My eyes are old for up close and reading, but I still can see far away real good. So, still blessed there, I guess. I'm going to save some batteries, see what we get into. Here's a rub, guys. That's what you start looking for. Trying to get itching on them, they start knocking them off. There's some more swamp land. See, this is a real active deer trail, guys. It's a great time to look for sheds. You want to 
do it before all the uh, green starts growing up. It's a lot easier to find them. I'm going to give you my 360 again. Probably the best single antler I ever found, guys. Very, very cool. And for a non typical, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine points on one side. Let me count that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's way cool, guys. I'd like to see that buck. I wish I could have found the other one. I'm on way back out of here. I'm going to keep looking and grid the area again. And uh, once again, thanks for joining us on another video. I'm Nick with Whitetail Bushcraft Outfitters. Catch you on the next video. Looks like a moose. Very cool. February 22nd, first shed of the year, first shed of 2013. Wish I could have found the other one, but it gives me something to do another day.